Today I'm going to predict the Kingpin tournament winner and not only that, I'm going to predict every single fight in the men's Kingpin tournament bracket. From all of the quarterfinal fights on April the 22nd to the semi-final fights on June the 3rd in Dublin all the way up until the final on August 5th. Now without any further ado, let's start off with the first quarterfinal. We have Anderson Gibb against Austin McBroom 2. The rematch. I actually watched this fight live, not actually in the arena because no one was actually there, but I watched it live as the fight was happening from my house because I think it, it pretty much started straight after a UFC event and I was watching a UFC event. I can't remember exactly which UFC event it was. I think it may have been Adesanya Pereira 1, but I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, my prediction for this fight is an Anderson Gibb win. I believe he's going to knock Austin McBroom out even quicker. To be honest, I don't even think Austin McBroom is going to be able to knock Anderson Gibb down in this fight. He's going to be a lot more complacent and he's going to be a lot more patient with his strikes because he knows how good Gibb's stam stamina is. And I think that's just going to open up more shots for Gibb to go on to the attack. So I predict the fight will end in the third round by knockout. Maybe not as brutal as the knockout that we saw in their first match, but I believe the referee will wave it off. So Anderson Gibb win in the third round. Moving on to the second fight, we have Jarvis against Tom Zanetti. I think everyone's excited for this, to be honest. I think it's going to be an absolute bloodbath, and I think it's going to be a very, very good fight. Probably the fight of the night. And my prediction for this fight, this may come as a shock to all of you, but I predict it's going to be Jarvis coming out as the winner, on points, I don't think there's going to be a knockout. I don't know if he has the power to knock out Tom Zanetti if Slim couldn't get it done. And I know Slim and Jarvis have a very similar build, kind of. They're both they're both quite skinny and tall. So yeah, my prediction for that fight is a Jarvis decision win. Moving on to my mate Nate against King Kenny. My prediction for this fight is... A King Kenny win. He has to get it done. It's his last chance to prove himself as a top tier guy in this influencer boxing thing. It's his last chance. If he loses against my mate Nate, he has more losses than wins. I think, he, to be honest, he already has more losses than wins. His, his whole influencer boxing career has been a bit messy from the very first fight against Temper, where he got the win, but then it was overturned. And then he beat Faye Sensei, but... To be honest, I thought Face Sensei won when I was watching that live, and a lot of people thought Face Sensei won. But he got the win. So yeah, he got the win in that. Fair fair dues to him. And then he got a quick knockout. I can't remember who it was against in his third fight. And then he's just lost to Raksu. So I think he's actually two and two, which to be honest isn't great. But it isn't horrendous as well. He's not just brought in to lose. To be honest, he's brought in to win, but he's just not really got the job done and he's fought against quite, well, very decent opponents, to be fair. I know my mate Nate actually has a decent amount of boxing experience. I've seen a little bit of him fight, but I think that King Kenny will get this done. And I think he'll get it done by a knockout in the later rounds or potentially a decision. But I'm going to say, I'm going to go for a decision because I just haven't seen that power in King Kenny's punches. Well, besides that one fight, actually, Besides that first round KO. So he has proven that he does have power. So no, I'm, I'm going to say decision. I'm going to say decision win against my mate Nate. And then moving on to Winderson Nunes against... Winderson Nunes against the mystery opponent. Now, I, I, <laughs> there's not really any breakdown I can give on this fight, to be honest. Because there's not really a breakdown I can give, I'm just going to put Winderson Nunes forward to the semi-final. Moving on to the semi-finals. We have Anderson Gibb against FaZe Jarvis. Now, I think this is probably going to be the best fight of the whole tournament, but I do have belief in Mr. Gibb that he will get it done. And I really hope to see Gibb against KSI or even the Gibb against 
uh, Jake Paul rematch at some point. But which, let's just let's just stay within the bracket of the tournament right now. So I predict that Gibb will get it done against FaZe Jarvis. And to be honest, I feel like his his stamina will be too much for Jarvis, to be honest. And I think it will be a late round knockout, maybe like a round five, six knockout. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be a clean knockout like that McBroom one fight. But I feel like it'll be a like a, a multiple knockdowns and the referee's going to wave it off against Jarvis. Second semi-final, King Kenny against Winderson Nunes. To be honest, I'm going to back my boy King Kenny again. I think this is King Kenny's redemption story. I hope so. For, for his sake, anyway. I really hope so. And also because I, if Winston Nunes wins, I don't really know what else he can do for this British and American influencer boxing scene. I believe King Kenny has more potential there. At some point further down the line, King Kenny can face like Logan Paul or Darren Till. Maybe Darren Till. If Darren Till loses to Logan Paul. Or even beats Logan Paul. Maybe King Kenny, if he does win this tournament, I'm not saying he's going to, but if he does win this tournament, that, that is a potential fight down the line as well. So yeah, uh, to be honest, I'm going to back King Kenny against Winderson Nunes. And I'm going to say a knockout in the second round by a left hook. Winderson Nunes out cold. King Kenny onto the final against Annie Sun Gibb. And I believe this fight will end in an Anderson Gibb knockout. What can I say? I'm sorry, King Kenny fans. I'm sorry, Beta Squad fans. But I'm backing Gibb. His barrage of punches will be too much for every single fighter in this Kingpin tournament bracket. Anderson Gibb will win this fight by, by knockout in the fourth round. Oh, I don't know why I said that because I don't believe that. I think he's going to do better than what McBroom did in the first fight. Besides the knockdown, I don't think Kenny's going to knock Gibb down. Um, So... My prediction for this fight is an Anderson Gibb sixth round KO. Once again, I don't believe it's going to be an out cold KO. I think it's going to be more like a, a, a good few knockdowns and maybe he chins him in the towards the end of the sixth round with a, a right hook, maybe a right hook, body punch, and then back to a right hook again. And then he's out for the count. I don't think he's going to be fully out cold, but I think he's just not going to be able to get up. And then, yeah, Gib will raise that Kingpin tournament trophy. Yeah, so that's my prediction. Anderson Gibbs going to win this tournament. Destruction all the way through. Now, please make sure to like the video and subscribe if you're new. And I'm also going to do a prediction on the women's tournament as well. So stay tuned for that. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Farewell.